Welcome, sports fans. This is Chet Messer at the Coach Lions Court at Wilmer Fieldhouse at Belmont High School for the varsity basketball competition between your Belmont Marauders girls team and the Reading Rockets girls team. This game uh, will be seen or can be seen on Saturdays through Mondays on Belmont's local access channels. Comcast channels 8 and 9 and Verizon 28 and 29 and also on the high definition definition channel of 2130. Tonight is Friday night January 31 and the Belmont and running rockets are about to face off. Ball is knocked into the backcourt and it is going to be another jump. Even the, nobody touched the ball. They uh, took three seconds off the clock. I don't know whether they should be. Uh, they'll probably hold off starting the clock for three seconds. Abby Morin picks it up in the backcourt, gets it to Christofori. Belmont won the first game that they played in Reading, which was the seventh game of the season. And nice jump shot by Gabby Morin. Number 24 for the Reading Rockets. And we have a foul on Emma McDevitt. She had a hand on the side of number 15, number Carr. 42, Emma McDevitt, her first personal foul, one team foul. I started to say number 24 for the Reading Rockets, Jackie Malley, is the, is the granddaughter of Mike Widmer, who is the uh, town's moderator here in Belmont. Carr makes the first one. The second one comes off. McDivitt gets it. And McDivitt hands the ball by mistake, but another rebound by the Rockets. The ball is loose. Alley takes a shot from outside, and it's good. It's now 42. Reading. Drive to the hoop. Back outside to Christophori, drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Rebound is by, batted around, a jump shot, no good. Rebound is by Abby, Abby Morin. Donagan was, and the ball is loose and picked up by the Reading Rockets. Some sloppy interior passing and it is out of bounds off of Redding, and it'll be Belmont ball. There was no foul called. A, no, a good non-call. Christopher brings the ball up. She's being guarded by number 11, Hurley. Elegant drive to the hoop, and up and in by Abby Morin. Donegan chasing number one, Capone. It's a drive to the hoop. It's up, no good. Rebound by Minakazi. Minakazi is the leading rebounder, by the way, for Belmont. Abby Morin being guarded by Malley, I believe, number 24. Here's the cut to Minakazi to the hoop. It's good. Good pass. So far, Abby Morin's been involved in all the scoring plays. Two hoops and an assist. And the ball bounces off. It's picked up by Menakazi, who's tripped coming down the court. And I don't know what, what the call is. Guess she tripped herself. Coach Hart said no, she was tripped from behind.
Donegan uh, chasing number one, chasing number one. Shot from the corner is no good. And it goes out, pick, grabbed by Donegan. Donegan down in the corner to Morin. Back out to Christopher. Inside. Oh, oh. A little bit too high in the pass to Morin. And the ball is out of bounds off of the Reading Rockets. Belmont ball. Morin to Christopher. Brings it all up to the center. Guided by Hurley. Inside, no good. good. Attempt to save it. It was, and the ball is picked up by the Rockets again. They've picked up all the used balls, and this time we will have a foul. Bridget Martin replaces Emma McDevitt. Elegant guiding Capone. Drive to the hoop and it is up and no good. Fouls on Martin. A non shooting foul. Zagami comes in and replaces Hurley for the Rockets. Rockets do a good job of passing the ball around. The ball is stolen away by Christofori. Christofori down the middle, gives it to Dulligan, gives it back to Minakazi who drops it in. Belmont up 8-4. Again, back outside, underneath, uh, and it's up, and it's good by number 22, Tenge, Tabney. Fast-paced game. And the ball is out of bounds off of Belmont. Belmont's trying to hit the cutters, but they're a little bit off in terms of when to pass the ball. Okay, Donegan. Ahead to number 22, and she is fouled. By number 14, Minakazi. Belmont has 14 fouls. There have been no fouls called on Reading so far. Two shots. Dagny makes the first, brings the Rockets within one. Ball goes around and it hits the. <clears throat> the rope up above the basket, which is out of bounds, and it'll be Belmont's ball. Sophie McDevitt replaces Morin. And Kazi. Now we have a foul on Belmont, an offensive foul. Uh, Sophie McDevitt, offensive foul. Donegan comes in, puts it up, and the ball was blocked by, by Carr. Ball is going into play. And the Kazi driving to the hoop 
and she is fouled by number 22, Tangney. Foul on Reading's number 22, Kiara Tangney. Her first personal foul, first on the team. Out to Donegan, Chris Forey drives to the left, gives it to, bounces it off the feet of Sophie McDevitt. And it's Redding's ball. Three pointer is good by Capone. And it's 10 to 8, Redding. Run again back outside. Gives it up to. And then Nicosi drops it in after a pass from number 12, <clears throat> Martin. Drive to the hoop, to the foot, and it goes out of bounds off of Redding. Chapazian replaces Donegan for Belmont. Hurley returns to the lineup for the Redding Rockets. Number 11, Capazian in the corner. Right, nope, stop. The three pointer are up and is good by Christopher. The ball is loose and it's picked up by Christopher. Drives to the hoop, puts it up, it's good. And Belmont is up 15 10. Ball is tapped away, and Belmont gets a loose ball. It gets ahead to Martin. Martin drives to the hoop, puts it up, and it is no good. The rebound was by... Sophie McDevitt, a jump ball. On the exchange, it's Redding's ball. Carr bringing the ball up, guarded by Sophie McDivitt. Drives to the hoop. If it's up and it's no good, rebound, and there's a foul, I believe, on Menacazi. She fouled the uh, rebounder. It's her second foul. So far, Belmont's been tagged with six fouls, right in only one. Two shots for Reading's Marissa Cerrone. Mr. Cerrone takes the first and misses. Cerrone's number five and puts the second up. It's good and it's 15-11. Chapazian back out front. Abby Morin back out to Chapazian. Across to Christophori. Back in the corner. And once again, it goes off of, out of bounds, off of the hands of McDevitt. Morin got in Capone. Driving to the hoop, and the ball is the jump ball. Belmont's a ball. Christopher grabbed the ball as it came by, and uh, the woman, the uh, other player fell down, but is actually both holding on to the ball, so Belmont gets the change in position. <clears throat> Downtown, no good by Martin. Capone comes across the middle court, passes it in the corner. Pass underneath. 
Redding very aggressive driving to the hoop. And the ball is thrown out of, from under the basket. And very close start by Champagne as we end the first period with Belmont up 15-11. This is certainly a different game than the one they played in Redding back at the beginning of the season. The first game in Redding, if I can get my uh, statistics here before they all blow away. <laughs> Dealing with a, uh, a fan overhead that tends to blow things around. But in the first period at the game in Reading, it was Belmont six and Reading five. So you almost have three times as much offense by both of the teams. Two times by Reading and three times by Belmont. In that game, Belmont uh, scored. 21 points in the third period to move a win going away 40 to 30. It'll be Belmont's ball. No, it'll be Redding's ball. I'm sorry. If you want to get on the in on the action here, uh, you can volunteer to operate a camera or help film the game. You can also like me, get in on the headset and commentate about the game. Student volunteers, by the way, get service hours uh, for their volunteer time at the Belmont Media Center. I'll tell you how to get in touch with Jeremy Reserve shortly. Drive to the hoop and lost by Carr, out of bounds, off her leg, Belmont's ball. Emma McDevitt's back in the ball game. Oh. Well, it was out of bounds. Belmont has trouble getting the ball into McDevitt. They typically throw it too high or throw it down around her feet where she can't pick it up. Something they're going to need to work on if they uh, make the tournament. Drive to the hoop by 22, no good. Another drive in, and it's good by Kyle. <laughs> Excuse me. 15 13, Belmont's lead cut to two. Chapazian puts up a three pointer. Swish. Reese Chapazian hits it 18 to 13, Belmont leads. The Safari guiding Capone. Almost loses the ball. Drive to the hoop. It's up, no good. The rebound grabbed real aggressively by Morin. Capazian from outside, no good. Goes up, Capazian with the rebound. Across to Cristofori. Cristofori faking. Over in the corner, it's off the bound, out of bounds off of the Rockets. Morin will put the ball into play. Chapazian underneath and still the ball is thrown underneath. Devitt just doesn't move quick enough to get those high passes. And some of them are just too high, period. And a downtown or rebound is by Mr. Forey to Shepazian. Shepazian, tricky dribbles through the middle. Up by Eddie Wagner, and Christofori tries to cut her off, and there is a foul on Christofori. Number three, Christofori, her first personal foul, 
And they were now one and one, and Carr will be shooting one and one. If she makes the first, she'll get a second. Puts it up, and it rolls around, no good. Rebound by Wagner. Wagner throws it and, and right into the hands. That's the second time that's happened tonight to Belmont. They have not cleared the ball well. And of course, when you make a mistake like that, the tendency is to come back and follow the opposing player. So Carr gets, this time she gets two shots. She was in the act of shooting, misses. Minakazi replaces Christofori. Second shot is up, no good. Rebound by Martin. Down in the corner, according to Chris. Drives the hoop and it's knocked out of bounds by Carr. Carr's a very good player. He's in. Grabbed by Martin. Martin put it outside to Minicozzi. Shoot it. <laughs> and she does and hits the rim, but it goes out and Redding has the ball. Malley shoots. It's no good. Rebound for herself, and we get a foul on the ground by, I believe, Martin. No, I think it's Abby Morin. First, first call on Morin, but there are eight on Belmont, one on Reading so far. Substitution for Belmont, Sarah Dulligan. Part of that's due to the fact that Reading attacks the basket. They attempt to drive on practically every shot, and as a result of being fouled by Belmont. Second shot is up and good by Malley. Morin gets it to Donegan. Donegan back to Morin. Morin drives, stops. Gives it to Donegan back outside off of Redding. Belmont has to be very careful with their passing. This Redding team is very quick. Belmont has a three-point lead. Anacazi. Martin. Martin stops, puts up the jumper. Bingo! That's two of those tonight right there on the foul line. And we have a foul on Martin. Ten team fouls on Belmont, only one foul on Reading. Kai makes the first. Brings the Rockets within four points. up the second. No good. Rebound is by Wagner. Lomigan down to Abby Morin. Morin drives the hoop, gives it off, and goes out of bounds, and it is white ball. Eddie Wagner, no good. Rebound is up, and we have a foul on 
Foul on 15, Carr, her first foul, and the second on the team. And we have four minutes left in the first half. Elegant with the ball out front. So, Minakazi back out to Mulligan, picks up a three pointer, and it's good. Almost up 23 16. Ball from the corner, rebound is by Jorgensen, who just reported in. Drive and to the hoop, and it's no good. Rebound, Jorgensen back out to Minakazi. Elegant in the corner to Martin, Martin to Jorgensen. And underneath, nice pass, and it's not good. Another good rebound by Morin. controversy about whether the 30-second clock went off. Two seconds. Somebody's going to be ready to shoot. Put it up. Belmont does not get a shot at the rim within 30 seconds, and the ball goes over to the Rockets. Here we go again, chasing Saponi. Wilkinson guiding Carr, drive to the hoop by Malley, puts it up and it's no good, and we'll have a foul on Martin, I'm sorry, uh, Abby. Morin. No, fouls on Mott, I'm sorry. It's your third foul. Jackie Malley at the line. Malley takes the first one. That's good. Come on substitution. Kiki Christofori. Kiki Christofori places Martin. It's a set on and up. Oh, is it nice? And it is now Belmont up by five. Christopher back in the ball game. And we have a jump ball. Belmont's ball. Dagny tied up. Minicozzi. Once again, Card jumps up and blocks a pass. Drive to the hoop and a foul on Belmont. Foul on Belmont number 21, Abby Morin, her second personal foul. Foul is on Morin, her second. Jackie Malley is uh, piling up the points from the foul line for the Rockets. How would they still trail Belmont by four? But this will probably make it by three. Christopher brings the ball up. 2.26 to go in the first half. Out to the hoop. Should have put it up.
And there's no fouls anywhere there, I guess. <laughs> the Rockets love to jump in there and grab the ball. Drive to the hoop into the corner. A three-pointer is up and good. 23 apiece at the first half so far. 143 to go. Morin goes up and they call the foul, an offensive foul on Morin. Little upsided. Ten fouls on Belmont. Abby Morin's third personal. From downtown, and it's good by Nally. Redding's up by three. Mr. Furry drives in the corner to <clears throat> Sophie McDevitt. Drive to the hoop. In the corner, no good. Rebound is by Carr ahead of, to Malley. Malley chases it down. And they're going to call a foul on Belmont. Jorgensen's first foul, but it puts Malley back on the line, and we could see a 28 to 3 score of the way Malley's been hitting from the foul line. And she misses her first one. Maybe I jinxed her. <laughs> McDevitt returns. We have two McDevitts in the game right now, 42 and 31 for Belmont. Malley misses the second rebound by McDevitt. Head to Christophori. Christophori harassed. Vision was harassed, but I don't, I don't understand why those aren't fouls on the other team, but they seem to be on Belmont. There's another one. They finally called the foul. What? Unbelievable refereeing here right at the moment. I think that was a uh, and rebound in out of bounds off of Belmont. Twenty six, twenty three, thirty seconds to go. Big rally by the Reading Rockets, and the ball goes out of bounds, and it is Belmont's ball. Christopher comes into the full court, gives it to Donegan. Donegan. Mostly got it. Shapazian outside. Shapazian. Dunnigan outside. Christopher. And we have a foul. Two shots for Christopher. 4.7 seconds to go. The foul is on. Reddick's number 11. 
number 11 on Hurley. Her first, uh, the, only the third on the team. Two shots, Kiki Christopher. This is the first. Second one's good. Two point lead with 3.6 seconds to go. Foul shot and it's in and out by number one, Capone. Capone. So, to repeat or update you, Belmont was ahead in the first half for a good part of it, but at the end of the second period, uh, Mally was fouled several times and made several foul shots as well as put a bow back on a rebound. Belmont's record in the Middlesex League is seven and four and Redding says five and six. Both teams need uh, to get to 10 wins in order to make the tournament. Belmont Working on a double screen. All from the outside, no good. And the rebound is by... That's it. <clears throat> Cara comes out of nowhere and blocks a pass, entry pass that was scheduled to end up in McDevitt's hands. Donegan comes through and the ball is grabbed by Minicosi and flipped up over her head and it's now a tie ball game. Belmont has gone to a zone 3-1 zone and we have a foul on Donegan. Passed into the backcourt. Kai with the ball, and she walks. And the referee calls the walk. Christopher with the ball outside. The Donovan puts up a three-pointer. No good. Rebound is up and no good. <laughs> I do not understand why there's no fouls being called. There's a, a carry by the... And a shot, no good. The rebound by Minakazi. Minakazi gets it to Dunnigan. Dunnigan in the corner to Morin. Morin back outside to... <clears throat> McCarthy with the ball, Donegan across. The three-point attempt, no good. Rebound by Dulligan, and she falls out of bounds. And the ball is thrown wildly up and picked up by Christopher. And now she calls up for a double dribble. Some strange calls in this game. Redding takes a timeout, 6.19 to go in the game. The score is tied at 26 apiece. As I said, as we uh, re-entered the second half, each team needs to get 10 wins before the end of the season in order to qualify for the tournament. Belmont has eight wins overall, but seven in the league. And Redding has six wins overall and five in the league. So... Both teams have some work to do because they have, in the case of Belmont, six teams, six games remaining, including this one. And for Reading, they have five games left, including this one. So they're both fighting for a chance to get to the tournament, uh, which will begin at the conclusion of the season, uh, regular season, and should start somewhere around the last week of February or the first week of March. Well, some of Belmont's fouls have been unnecessary 
during this game. When you have a lopsided call like 15 fouls on Belmont and three on Reading, it suggests that uh, something isn't correct in terms of the way they're calling this game. Belmont goes back to a man-to-man uh, -man defense and number 22 for <coughs> Reading. Tenge, three-pointer from the corner, no good. Rebound is stolen away and uh, no travel. She went, dropped to the floor, but they didn't call traveling on her. And now we have Reading players falling all over the floor, but now they're back up. <laughs> Drive to the hoop and it's up and it's no good and there's a foul on Belmont. Foul was on Christofori, her second. 49-26, Redding. Drive to the hoop, puts it up, a one-hander, no good. Rebound by McDivitt. No foul call for reaching in. Christofori with the ball, driving to the hoop. Gives it to Bogatacazi, who goes through, puts it to Donegan, back out. To Back to Christofori. Christofori bounces it in, and we finally get a foul called on number 11. On Reading, number 11, Abby Hurley. <clears throat> Fouls on Hurley. McDevitt will go to the line for two shots. No good. it up, swish. Replacement, McDevitt replaced by Martin. And we have a replacement, uh, Sophie McDevitt replaces Morin. Good attempt to steal, Molly from the corner and makes it. A three-pointer, they go up 32-27, up by five. After the hoop, and they passed it back out. Hannigan from the outside, no good. Rebound is stolen back by Martin. The ball goes underneath, and it's good. Good pass inside to McDevitt, who put it up and in. She kept the ball up really high and did a great job. So we have a three-point game and we have McDevitt on the line for one shot. Up, no good. Rebound is bounced around and an attempt to steal it fails. Redding has the ball outside, looking underneath, and it's stolen, knocked away by <clears throat> Menacazi, picked up by Christofori. Martin to Christofori. Christofori takes, drives, and we've got a foul on number 15, Carr. And they didn't call a shooting foul. <clears throat> I don't know why that wasn't a shooting foul. So he looked to me like she was going up to the basket. Okay, Martin putting the ball into play. <clears throat> and we don't have a foul. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Crazy drives to the hoop, puts it up, and she's pushed and fouled on the ground. No call. 
Not a shooting foul. Fouls on Malley, her first. Four team fouls on Redding. Two on Belmont. <clears throat> Elegant with the ball in the corner to Minic to Christofori. Minakazi has the ball. <clears throat> Christofori driving to the hoop, puts it up, and it's no good. Rebound over the top. That's the car. Stolen away and pushed again by Belmont. <clears throat> Foul is on. Foul is on number 15. Car. It's her third, I believe. She's replaced by Abby Farrell, number 21. And it's good. And it's a tie ball game at 32. Alley from the corner, no good. Rebound by, by Christopheri coming down the court. Drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Malley. Malley goes by Christopheri, I'm sorry. Trap, you know. <laughs> and we have a foul on uh, number one, Caponi. The action's so fast I can't remember the girls' names. Christophori will get two shots. This is the first. All these foul shots are important. This is the second. The pony coming up with the ball. <clears throat> and the ball is put in by number 11, Hurley. That's a loose balls. Martin needs to take a shot, drive to the hoop, and there's a foul on number 21 for the Red Raiders, Farrell. Menacozzi at the line for two shots. Makes the first. Misses the second rebound is by grabbed and of course he has it puts it up no good and a rebound this time by Farrell Farrell is knocked out of bounds by Christopher Bruce Shapation replaces Martin. Good fake and good picked up ahead to Delegan. Delegan missed the layup. Valley grabbed by Shapation. Three point attempt is no good. Rebound by number 11, Hurley. The pony. 
Drive to the hoop is no good, and the rebound is up and good by number 22, Tagney. Three-point lead for the Rockets with 57 seconds to go in the third period. Norman needs to take the shot. And a foul. Two shots. Foul and running number 21, Abby Farrell, her second personal. Second personal foul. foul. Kiki Christophori. Eight team fouls on <clears throat> Redding. Yeah. Makes the first. Redding substitution, number five, Marissa Cerrone. Marissa Cerrone replaces Farrell for the Redding Rockets. And around and good. Belmont down by one, 36, 35, 33 seconds to go. And we have a hold on number 11. Hurley. Her third personal. Christopher back to the line. One and one. Sagami replaces Hurley for the Rockets. Rebound by Sagami. Drive to the hoop, no good. A three pointer is up and hit by Cavoni. Chapasian in and out. Rebound, Chaponi behind the back, up the left side. Rolls in the corner, throws up a prayer, no good. Oh no, 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 no. That wasn't even close. Unbelievable. That wasn't even close. That wasn't even close. Unbelievable. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. So Redding comes out 41 35 at the end of three. And Belmont has got their work cut out for uh, the fourth period. <clears throat> Jeremy, I think we're going to have to send the MIAA a, a, a videotape of that last shot. <laughs> it wasn't even close to going in before the puzzle. Okay, Belmont's ball. They're down by six with the fourth period underway. Belmont's got to begin shooting and making. <laughs> oh, the ball was intercepted by Malley. Drives to the hoop and it knocked out of bounds by Chapation. Good play by Chapation getting back. Marissa Cerrone replaces number 22 for the Reading Rockets, uh, Tangay. They move the ball around to Malley, puts up a three-pointer, no good. Rebound, put the head, and the ball is reached in by number five, and I think they're gonna call a foul on number five. That probably was the least of the fouls. 
competed. Substitutions. Double bonus situation. Double bonus. Belmont gets to shoot. Makes the first. And she puts up the second. It's good. Belmont pulls within four. Elegan, and she falls down, and Belligan going to the hoop. And it's good. Play by Dunlegan. Malley with the ball, being graded by Christofori. Saponi get the ball, dribbles around, puts it in, and the ball is <laughs> pushed <laughs> from behind. Hurley pushed uh, the Belmont player, I think it was Minokosi. Uh, Minokosi. And we have a offensive foul on Belmont. Malley with the ball, bringing it up. Batted by Shapishin. And the ball is going to go in the backcourt, and Belmont will pick it up with a chance to even the score or go up by one with the, on a three-pointer. Here's to Furry out front. Gets it to Donovan. Elegan gets it back out to Shapishin, over to Christofori. Christofori fakes. Gets it back to Shabazian. To Dalgan. Christofori. Christofori goes to shoot. Decides a three-point attempt is good by Shabazian. Puts Belmont up by one, 42-41. Drive to the hoop. It's up and it's no good. Rebound by McDivitt. Three-point attempt is good. Belmont gets two in a row, and Redding takes a timeout as Belmont jumps ahead, 45-41, with 5.31 to go in the fourth period. After Redding had rowed back at the end of the third period, Belmont has moved out in front by four with still plenty of time to go, however. The Redding Rockets, uh, by the way, are tied for fifth in the Middlesex Liberty, uh, not the Liberty, uh, <laughs> Middlesex League. Can remember, I have in trouble remembering the other, uh, of the league at the other conference. But anyway, they're both in the same conference. Uh, and Reading is Six and seven, they're fifth place, one game behind Arlington. Now, based on comparative scores, Reading would likely be the winner of this game since on the common opponents, uh, Reading has won three of the games, uh, two of the games, and Belmont has won one, and they've both tied beating uh, Winchester, Melrose, and Winchester again. So the Rockets have the ball. Holligan pressuring. 
Malley from downtown, and this one is no good, and the ball is flipped up in the air. Malley goes to the hoop, puts it up, and it's no good, and it's blocked, and we have a foul on Belmont. Not, un not unusual. I don't know who the foul was on Minicosi, her third. Tange at the line for two shots. She makes the first. Pulls the Rockets within three. Picks up the second, around and out. And a cozy with the rebound. <clears throat> and again. Occasion is Furry. Mr. Furry drives and she is the ball is blocked by Carl out of bounds. Belmont has seven seconds from the shot clock. <clears throat> Gotta shoot it. And Menacosi does a good job of rebounding out to Shapazian for three. Tango. 48 42, Belmont. Elegant harassing Saponi. Saponi drives down through the hoop, and she is fouled by Shapazian. Ball is out underneath. Belmont's fifth team foul. That was Shapazian's first foul. Back out to Saponi, and underneath, nice cut to the hoop. Shapazian, and they will have a jump ball, and it will be Black's ball. Good work by Menacosi, who, by the way, I mentioned earlier, is the leading rebounder for Belmont. around to Malley looking for another three-pointer. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. Pass was made, a low pass made by Carr. Belmont gets the ball. Chapazian outside. Hennigan. Over to Christopori. Chapazian. Back out to Menacazi. Menacazi. Get up. And a three point attempt is no good. And is out of bounds off of Belmont. Menacazi almost had that rebound. Reading Rockets. Bring it up. Malley with the ball. Malley looking for a shot, probably. Car drives to the hoop and she is fouled by foul is on McDevitt. It is her fourth personal, sixth on the team, a non-shooting foul. Car has the ball. They work it around. Back to Malley. Malley underneath, and we have a foul on. Ball was on Carr, her fourth. And a cozy back out to McDonaghan, over to Christopori. Occasion. And a cozy drives to the hoop. Gives it up, no good. Ball is thrown out of bounds by number 15, Carr. Belmont substitution, Richard Martin. 
Bridget Martin replaces Sophie McDevitt. <clears throat> Discussion between Coach Hart and the referee. And the other end is another coach talking to the referee. And Martin gets it into Dunnigan, back out to Chapasian. Chapasian to Christofori. Christofori to Dunnigan. Dunnigan to Martin. Martin being harassed. Cut to the hoop. And she. And number one, the pony grabs. Menakazi, who will go to the line for one and one. I'm sorry, two shots. Minakozi puts the first up and it's around and out. Minakozi puts up the second swish. Anakin harassing. Car driving and there's a timeout call by Redding with 2.25 to go and Belmont up by seven. Don't want to sound like a broken record, but in case you missed it the first time around, if you want to get involved with the production of these sports programs, uh, you can volunteer to operate a camera, uh, which will help us film the game. You can also, like me, and get in on the headset and commentate about the game and try to keep up with the fast pace of action. And the students that volunteer do get community service hours from the, the, from the school system. So if you want to volunteer or want to find out more about it, then contact Jeremy Meserve. Jeremy's email address is jeremy at belmontmedia.org. Or you can call Jeremy at 617 Four eight four two four three three. So we're headed into the last two twenty-five of the ball game. Belmont is up by seven. They had led most of the game through almost the two-thirds of the way through the third period when a big push by Redding put them up, and now Belmont has come back and is up 49-42. Chapasian, Minicosi, Martin are in the ball game. Martin almost tries to steal the ball, and we have a walk, and we've got a walk. Ball was thrown out of bounds. I don't know how they can call some of the fouls they do and miss the, op the absolute clear violations. Minicosi with the ball. Martin, now <laughs> they call Martin for dragging her pivot foot, I guess, and they gave it away. They didn't call it on Carr when she moved clearly three feet. And of course, he taps the ball out of bounds. Now in the corner. Redding's ball. Pony with the ball, driving to the right, puts it up, and she is fouled by Christofori. And they're going to give her a two-shot foul. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Pony misses the first. We got a substitution. Morin comes out. Takes a close seat close to the coach. And Chapasian is in the ball game. 
Puts it up, no good. Rebound by Menacozzi. Puts it out to <clears throat> Belmont takes the timeout. So we have just over one second more than two minutes to play and Belmont is still up by seven. They'll get the ball on the side of the court. They'll have 23 seconds to get a shot off. It's been a seesaw battle in many ways. The Marauder Girls' uh, next game, by the way, is at Wakefield on uh, next Tuesday. And in fact, they have two away games next week. They play at Wakefield on Tuesday and at Arlington on Friday. So Belmont puts the ball into play. Mr. Forey bringing the ball up. Gets it to Shipasia and to Dunnigan, Dunnigan. To Christofori. Got to put it up. And, and it's no good. The rebound is grabbed by, and we have a foul on, I believe, Christofori, which will probably be her fourth. And. Pony will be at the line for one. And Belmont brings Morin back into the game along with Sophie McDevitt. Caponi for one. It's up and it's good. She looked more relaxed than that one. The prior two shots she took. Uh, Substitution now. Abby Morin goes, sits down, and Shapazian is in the ball game. Second one is up, and it's good. And Belmont is at a five-point lead. And, and the setup. Mona Cozy with the ball. And it goes, he drives, gives it underneath, and it's no good. Rebound by Carr. Malley with the ball up the left side. Stops and tries to pop, but guarded by Dunnigan. Drive to the hoop by Saponi. Drives in, no good. And the rebound, and we have a jump ball between Saponi, I'm sorry, Hurley, and <clears throat> Christofori. Belmont gets the ball and bounds. Head passing the ball up the court. Good play. And we have a foul by Malley with 45 seconds to go. Belmont up by five. Shapation at the line for two shots. Bajan makes the first, puts Belmont up by six. Still a two possession game, however. If she makes this one, it'll be a three possession game for Reading. And it's good. And Murren replaces Shapazian. Donegan pressuring Capone. 
Caboni almost loses it, and she does, and Dunnigan ties up the ball game, ties up the ball, and it'll be Redding's ball on the side. But that used up some precious seconds. There's 38.9 seconds, call it 39, left in the ball game. Drive to the hoop. It is up and it's good. Ball's put in, bounce, and they gave them a timeout. The ball was in play. They can't give them a timeout with the balls in play. <laughs> Unbelievable refereeing tonight. <laughs> Probably the uh, most inconsistent, lopsided refereeing I've seen this season. Belmont got the ball into play. They can't call a timeout. They can't stop play. If he saw the ref, the ref saw the coach calling a timeout, he should have blown the whistle before Belmont even got their hands on the ball. Not coupled with a clear violation by the referees at the end of the half when they gave a basket to uh, Redding that clearly was not in the basket before the buzzer went off. Wasn't even shot before the buzzer went off. Sophie McDevitt putting the ball into play. It's it to Christofori, who was fouled by Hurley. And Christofori will get two shots. Down one up by five. This is where where all that time spent practicing foul shots comes down. First one is good, good job. Belmont up by six. Requires two positions now by Redding with two three-pointers and she makes two in a row. Trying to bring the ball up toward is Capone. She almost gets, loses it, throws it into Carr. Carr goes up and lays it in. Belmont putting the ball into play to Morin. Morin, oh, the ball is picked up and, and Morin fouls her. Fouls on Morin, they get two foul shots. That can bring the ball, can bring the score within three if she makes both of them. Another controversy by the referees. He's going to give her two shots. Two shots. She wasn't shooting. She got knocked down, laying out on the floor. Unbelievable refereeing job. Just total incompetence. Makes the second and misses it. The ball comes down. And now we got a foul on Minakazi for pushing. Belmont up by four with 10 minutes, 10 seconds to go. Oh, shot up and good. By Tankney. Right, 
Belmont takes a timeout. They're up by three with 10 seconds to go. And one of the least most incompetent refereeing jobs I've seen at any level. <laughs> Now, that's not to say Belmont hasn't made some mistakes here in the last 20 seconds, but uh, they should not have given that player two shots. The foul was on the floor, clearly on the floor. She was not trying to shoot. And they gave her two shots. So Tange has uh, gets another shot. Tagney puts it up and makes it. Almond puts the ball into play, and it's ahead to Sophie McDermott, and she is fouled from behind by Hurley. fouls on number 11. She's acting like it's in disbelief. Referee correction, that foul is on number 22. Kiara oh. Tangney, her second personal foul. That her own foul. Sophie McDevitt at the line. Two shots. Sophie can make, only needs to make one. Only needs to make one. The best then Redding could do would be to tie the game with 7.0 seconds to go. It's up and it's good. And the ball is blocked and a foul on Capone. She fouls. McDevitt, who will go to the line with four tenths of a second to go for two shots. Sophie McDevitt at the line for two shots with four tenths of a second to go, and Belmont up by three. <clears throat> Round and it bounces in. Nice soft touch by McDevitt. Belmont is now up by four. There's no way that Redding can win this ball game now. And she makes the second. Belmont is up by five. <laughs> And the Marauders girls teams come through and they win the ball game by the score of 56-51 in a, in a thriller.